This I wanna nail sports to the bone Top vlog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful sports to the bone family What's up, what's up? A blessed night to you all Welcome back to another video Hope you guys are doing okay Yes man Alright my viewers and subscribers So we have a couple of stories to take a look at in this one We're going to be touching base with some basketball And also some cricket So I don't know how many persons are following this uh, this story With this WNBA superstar You know, She was actually convicted and sentenced to 9 years today So we're going to talk a little bit about it Plus we see Shakib Alassan in the news for the wrong reason But before we go down into those stories I'm asking them my peeps If you have not yet subscribed Please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel Also make sure you leave a like and drop a comment on the video my peeps Join the family, join the family Alright so we're going to start things off with the with the basketball And I'm taking um the news from the Jamaica uh, Observer and here it says, U.S. basketball star Brittany Grainer was convicted on Thursday in Russia of drug possession. And, you know, she was sentenced to nine years in prison following a politically charged trial that, um, that um, came amid soaring tensions between Moscow and Washington over, you know, the Ukraine situation and all of that. Because, you know, America had their, their views on what is going on. So, um... Apparently, they fast-tracked the, the, the case and she was convicted and sentenced to nine years. Uh, I tell you, my viewers and subscribers, you know, I'm not saying that you need you, you should go to anybody else's country and break the laws or the rules. I'm, I'm not for that. You try to stay within the, the rules, you know, by all means necessary. But one could probably say that this trial wasn't just because of the... The, 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 the fact that she brought the, the law with the with the with the weed pill, you know, I think that that is the issue, you know, but because as you can say, you know, it was politically charged because of the situation between the two countries. Anyway, let us continue in the article. It says the thirty the thirty one year old Grana, a two time US Olympic champion and eight time All Star um player, was convicted and you know, she was also charged. She was also set to pay 16,000 U.S. dollars. No, the U.S. President Joe Biden denounced the verdict and, and the sentence as unacceptable. No, he's quoted as saying, and I quote, I call on Russia to release her immediately so she can be with her wife, loved ones, friends and teammates. That is what um, the, the president had to say, my peeps. And, you know, I don't know if there's going to be some sort of high stake um, swap deal. You know, when you're watching movies and you see people swap swap one man from a country to a next man, to a next country. Because, you know, I think um, Uncle Sam have about two people, two or three people that, that Russia would be interested in, in collecting or getting back an uh, arms dealer based on what I'm hearing. So, you know, let us let us see how things will work, my peeps. Now. Um, the article went on and it says earlier in the session with a conviction all but certain an emotional grain and made a final appeal to the court for leniency. She said she had no intention to break the law by bringing vape um, cartridges with cannabis oil when she flew to Moscow in February to play basketball in the city. Right. Um, she's quoted as saying, and I quote, I want to apologize to my teammates my club, my fans, and the city for my mistake that I made, the, um, the embarrassment that I brought on them, right? Um, she went on to say, I want to apologize to my parents, my siblings, and my teammates back home in the WNBA, my viewers and subscribers. So that is what she's saying now. Based on, on, on information, you know, um, a doctor actually testified that, you know, the, the doctor was the one that prescribed these to her because of uh, pain and in pain that she was suffering from injuries. So, you know, um, according to her, she had no no intention to take or any criminal um, intention to, to, to really take them in and to smuggle them or anything, saying that they, they were placed in her luggage by mistake and um, her character, you know, would would dictate that why you know she's not that type of person but the the people that were per persecuting her said that you know 
it was done purposefully and she thought she would have gotten away with it. So let us let us know what you think about that, my viewers and subscribers. The WNBA um, superstar here sentenced to nine years imprisonment over there in Russia because of a couple of um, stuff that she had, you know, some extract from what we would call weed or marijuana. You know, um, according to a doctor, it was prescribed to her because of pain that she was suffering from. You know, you play basketball and things like that. You're going to suffer from maybe a lot of joint pains and aches and things like that. So, it's it's pretty interesting, my peeps. You know, um, it's pretty sad to know that a simple thing like that, she, she <laughs> they sentenced her to nine years. You know, one would have hoped that, you know, they would have asked her to do some community service or something. But, you know, that country is a place that, based on what we are reading, they don't really play around when it comes on to things like those, my viewers and subscribers. You know, when it comes on to drugs and things like that, they don't play around over there in Russia. So, we're going to keep an eye on this one because, as I said, you know, there might be some sort of swap or some trade that going go on between um the, the between Moscow and uh, between Russia and and the US. Let us let us let us see my peeps. Anyway, let us take our time and and and, and sail on a little bit. We see where uh Shakib Al Hassan he has actually found himself in hot water once again. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, he's been investigated by um the BCB. That's the Bangladesh Cricket Board. They are currently investigating Shakib. You know, because, uh, well, I'm actually getting this from the ESPN Crick Info. They are saying that, um, you know, he announced a partnership with a company called Betwinner. Yes, man. So apparently he has partnered up with a company called Betwinner. And, you know, things like that definitely going to raise eyebrow my viewers, especially when it comes on to cricket, where quite a few players are known to. To do certain things that, that, that you don't really want in the game of cricket. So, you know, um, uh, the, the Bangladesh Cricket Board, they are investigating him to see what sort of partnership that is, what exactly the company is and what exactly role, what, what type of role exactly he will be playing in that. Um, if it is a betting company and he has partnered with them, I think that would be contrary to um to the to the fact you know you, you don't want to have a, a international player partnering up with a company like that and and things so it, it it is something to keep an eye on my viewers and subscribers it is just developing so um we're definitely going to keep an eye on it to see how it goes and uh just before we finish off my peeps uh the same thing that i spoke about earlier on today with double um, uh, cwi trying to hold west indies players we see where the sri lanka uh mystery spinner hasaranga he has been forced to pull out of a 100,000 contract you know um he was actually slated to play for the manchester originals in the uh the the, the 100 but he had you know based on what we are seeing here he he, he is expected to pull out as Sri Lanka board has, def has said to him, here what, we are going to need you. And the country duty comes first. I don't know when we're going to be able to have them sort of powers over, over our actual over players in West Indies, whether or not we're going to need to put in some sort of clause in their contract from early. But it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, we're going to keep an eye on it to see how it goes, my viewers and subscribers, whether or not the player will say, all right, you know, um, we, 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 I definitely going to withdraw or is or he's going to fight it. But, you know, we can keep an eye on it, my peeps. Just go and big up on yourself and let me know what you think about these couple of stories in the comment section. All right. Bless. I'm out.